So here we have a problem. It says five plastic geometric shapes are stacked on the table. They are numbered consecutively. That means one after another. So if you have five shapes, they're numbered one, two, three, four, and five. There's nothing skipping around. It's not one and then seven and then 19, 20, and 25. They're whole numbers right after each other. That's consecutively. And they're numbered from bottom to top. So I'm going to rewrite my numbers right here from bottom to top. Consecutive. One, two, three, four, five. And if they had said from top to bottom, it would be the other way. One, two, three, four, five. But they did say from bottom to top. Oops, so let me fix this. So we have the numbers one through five. Let me erase these. And they're numbered consecutively right here from bottom to top. What do we know? We know one of these shapes is a triangle. We know the circle is the fourth shape. So the circle is right here. So we're done with that one. And once you're done, I suggest crossing out that piece of information. There are exactly three shapes between the rectangle and the square. What does that tell me? Well, if there's only one position, two positions, excuse me, where you can have three shapes between. Let me erase this arrow. Um, what I mean is that if we're here, there's three shapes, one, two, three, and then five. Well, where else can that happen? And I actually, I should go back and say my original statement, which was there's only one way you can have two different shapes and have three between, especially if there's only five numbers. And that's just as you see here. If you put one of the shapes here, it would have two shapes between. So when they say there are exactly three shapes between the rectangle and the square, that means that the first and fifth shape have to be the rectangle and square. So now we're getting somewhere. And let's read the last statement, because now we don't know. All we know is that there's a rectangle and a square, and that these three shapes are between them. OK. There are exactly two shapes lower than the oval, and one of them is the rectangle. So if the rectangle and the square are either at the bottom and top, and we know here that the rectangle is below the oval, the rectangle can't be on top. If it was on top, the rectangle wouldn't be below anything. So what's up here? This has to be the square. Because we know the rectangle is below some objects. So that means that the rectangle has to be on the bottom. Because we said before that the rectangle and the square occupy the top and bottom spaces with three shapes between. And we know that the oval has to be right here. Why? Because it says there are exactly two shapes lower than the oval. Well, if the oval is, can't be at the fourth spot because that's where the circle is, it can't be at the top spot because that's where the square is. So it has to be in the third spot. And then we have two shapes below it. They want to know which of those are the triangle. Well, by process of elimination, there's only one spot left, and that's the answer. The triangle is in the second spot.